Right, to understand constants, you have to know what variables are. And in case you don't know what they are, they're just a block in memory that stores some value in your application. It could be a string, it could be a number, it could be anything like that. In fact, variables store everything in your application whilst it's working. So a constant is also a variable. But a constant, such as a constant called word, which we put the string program into, a constant is unchangeable. So if we try to change that constant word to change, then we wouldn't be able to do it. So that's the core feature of a constant. It is unchangeable at runtime. Runtime means when you actually load the application, the constants, well, they're just that, they are constant. Now, many people tend not to use constants that I've met, but really they should. And as a beginner, you should use constants wherever you can. And that comes into why constants are used. So let's say you have some kind of preferences in your application. So Windows has a preferences where you can store data. Android has the same. iOS has the same. In fact, every system has the same. And those preferences use keys and values to store data. So you might have an integer such as three, four, five. You might have a string like word and high. You might have a double uh, floating point number like 14.6, 15.5, 1.2, whatever it is. Now you'll notice that one of those things is a constant and it isn't the value because the value can change. It's the key that is a constant. So whenever we want to retrieve something from preferences, we give it the key and then it spits out whatever value is associated with that key. So the key never ever changes. That's why you should use a constant because you have something in your application that never ever changes and is always the same. Another example might be a web address that links to a server that you're pulling data from for your application. The address is never going to change. Well, it shouldn't ever change, okay? As top, top advice from a pro developer that's done it all wrong before, never change the endpoints, your API endpoints in your web addresses. Okay, so that's another example of a constant. And the reason you make it constant in your program is so that you, as the programmer, don't inadvertently change the value of that constant or variable somewhere in your program because if you do that then you're going to get unexpected results you know you won't be able to reach your server your preferences will look a little weird and things won't stick the way that you expect them to now the final reason that you should use a constant is other programmers right if i'm scrolling through someone's code and i see variable or var i know that i can change that if i if i'm changing their code. I wouldn't be changing it if they were kind of there because they'd be doing that. But if I inherit someone's code base, then I would know that I can change the variable. If I see the keyword const, which stands for constant, I know don't touch that. There's a reason that it's constant because it needs to remain constant. So those are constants and that's why we need them. If you've got any questions or comments, then put them down below and I'll respond to them as soon as I can.